Hello, my first graders. We are working on page 69 today in our Go Math book. Okay, so if you don't, haven't found page 69, stop the video and find the page. All right, today is our first day of talking about subtraction or taking away. So for subtraction, instead of getting more, we are taking some away. We're getting less. Okay, so we're going to take a look at our activity today. It says, there are five children in the sandbox. Two walk away. How many children are in the sandbox now? So we're going to draw the show taking away. So just like addition, we still use our circles. Okay, but when we're showing take away, we put an X or a slash through our objects to show that we're getting rid of them. Okay, so let's look at our picture today. There are five children in the sandbox. So we're gonna make five circles to stand for the five children. Okay, at any time you need to stop, go ahead. Okay. Now, it says two walk away. So that means now we don't have five in there. We lose two kids because they walk out. So to show that we're losing some, we don't erase our work. We cross out. Okay, so I'm going to get rid of two. One, two. I like to put slashes through instead of X's. Sometimes we can put X's, but it makes it a little faster for me. So I lose two, get rid of two. It reminds me of a big minus sign too. How many children are in the sandbox now? Okay, so we had five. This means we lost two. So that means they're not there anymore. How many are left? How many do we not have slashes through? Three. Three are left. One, two, three. Okay, because remember, when we put these lines through them, that means they're gone. Okay, they're not there anymore. Okay, so five, take two away, equals three. If you need to pause at any time, you can. Okay, we're going to look at this cat page first. There are four cats in the whole group. Look, one, two, three, four. So four cats, one cat walks away. So look, they put an X on it. How many blank cats now? So if we had four cats, one walks away, how many are left? One, two, three, three cats are left. So remember, when we lose one, we can't count it anymore. We can only count the ones that are still there that we did not cross out. All right, take a look down here. Six bugs, two bugs fly away. So let's see, we have one, two, three, four, five, six. Six bugs, if two bugs fly away, we have to show that. So we're gonna put an X or a slash through them. You can put an X or a slash. How many bugs now? Blank bugs now. Let's count and see what's left. One, two, three, four. Four bugs are left. Four bugs are not crossed off. Okay. Four bugs. We can't count these guys because they flew away. We crossed them off. So it's just these four. All right. I'd like you to try the dog problem. Three dogs, one dog walks away, blank dogs now. So you're going to cross off, okay, and then see how many are left. Okay, what did you get? Well, there was our three dogs. One dog walked away. Did you put a line through that one guy? Cross him off because he walked away? Okay. And then how many dogs now? So blank dogs now. There's one, two. Two dogs now. All right. If you need to pause, you can. If not, we're going to look across the page. 
Okay, on this page, we're doing the same thing for number three and four. So I would like you to pause your video and work on number three and four. Okay, do your crossing off for the ones that walk away and then see how many are left, how many are there now. All right, you should have filled in number three and four. If you haven't done that, then you should be pausing the video and doing that first. All right, seven chicks, two chicks walk away. So you should have had a line through two of them or X's through them. How many chicks now? One, two, three, four, five. You should have five chicks. Ducks, we had six ducks, three ducks walk away. Here's our three walking away. So you should have crossed those off. And then you saw how many are left. Three ducks now. There's three ducks not crossed off. Okay, very good. So you need to make sure that you had both parts. If you didn't do your crossing off, that's a part that's missing. You need to make sure that's done. That's our way of showing our work, showing that, that we got rid of or they walked away. All right, let's look down here at math on the spot. Remember again, in our math materials for the chapter, you can watch your math on the spot video if you want. All right. Ella and Sarah see eight birds in the tree. So I'm gonna circle eight, just like I always do in a problem. Ella and Sarah see eight birds in the tree. Ella sees two fewer birds than Sarah. So here's my number two. Sarah sees five birds. How many birds does Ella see? Okay, so, all right, now we have to solve it. I'm gonna read it one more time. Ellie and Sarah see eight birds in the tree. Ellie sees two fewer birds than Sarah. Sarah sees five birds. How many birds does Ella see? All right, so this one's a little challenging. So Ella and Sarah, they both see eight birds in a tray. So let's make our eight. I'm gonna make eight circles. I want you to make eight circles as well. Okay, go back and count them to make sure you have eight. Okay, we have eight circles. Okay, so here's our eight birds that we see. Ellie sees two fewer birds than Sarah. Well, it doesn't mean that she only sees two birds. It means she's seeing two less birds than Sarah. Well, how many birds does Sarah see? Sarah sees five birds. All right, so Sarah sees five of these birds. You ready? So let's cross off the ones that Sarah sees. One, two, three, four, five. Sarah sees five birds. How many birds are left for Ellie to see? Let's look and see what's left. One, two, three. How many does Ellie see? Ellie sees three birds. Okay, so they tried to trick us here by saying two fewer birds than Sarah. So another way that we could solve this problem is if Sarah sees eight birds, I'm sorry, Sarah sees five birds. And you don't have to write this, you just watch mine. If Sarah sees five birds and Ellie sees two fewer, so we cross two off because she sees two less. See how there's three left, okay? We got the same answer the same way. So there's two different ways to show, to show it. And if you watch math on the spot, they'll also show you, they should show you two different ways as well. All right, go deeper. Choose numbers to complete the story. Write the numbers, draw to show the problem. All right, so we're kind of making our own problem up. I want to see if I can get a little closer so you can see this a little bit better. Okay, didn't really, didn't really help. There we go. All right. So we have to complete the story. We have blank worms, blank worms wiggle away, three worms now. 
Okay, so we need to come up with a problem that when we're finished, we have three worms left. Okay, so we're kind of working backwards on this one. All right, so if we know we have three worms left, let's make our three worms. Okay, we know that they're left over. We know that they're not crossed off, they're left. So now we need a starting number. Okay, so we have to think about how many worms would wiggle away. Well, we could use any number really. Okay, we could use, let's see, how many worms could wiggle away? Well, I like the number five. Five is my favorite number. So I want to do five worms wiggle away. So see how I'm kind of working backwards? I'm going to say five worms wiggle away. So let me show my five. One, two, three, four, five. Now, here's my five worms that wiggle away. What do I do to show that they wiggle away? Well, remember when something goes away, we put lines through it. So I said five of them are going to wiggle away. One, two, three, four four, five. I crossed them off to show that they wiggled away. Now it says blank worms. Well, we need to know how many worms did we have all together? How many did we start with? So let's look. If I have five that wiggle away and three worms that are left, how many worms do I have all together? How many did I start with? So for this time, we need to count all of the worms. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight worms we had to start with. So now let's go forward, let's go forward through a problem. Here's my eight worms that I started with. I have five that wiggled away, and then there's three worms left. So we built our problem backwards. I know, kind of weird, right? All right, if you need to pause, you can. If not, we're gonna turn the page. I'm gonna put this back a little. All right. All right, let's check this page out. It says, there are six cats. So I'm gonna circle six. One cat runs away. How many cats are there now? Draw to show your work. So we're gonna use our circles. So let's start with our first number. There are six cats. So we're gonna draw our six circles. Okay. One cat runs away. So how do we show it runs away? Remember, we put that X through it or our slash through it. Okay. How many cats are there now? So look and see, we lost one, so we can't count him. How many are left? What did you get? Five, there's five cats left. We had six, one ran away, five are left. There are six dogs. Three dogs run away. Then one more dog runs away. How many dogs are there now? So this is a multi-step problem. Let's start at the beginning. There are six dogs. So how many circles do we need? Six. Okay. Three dogs run away. So if they're running away, are we getting some or are we losing some? We're losing some. Run away means we lose them. So I need to cross off three. One, two, three. But I'm not done yet because then one more dog runs away. So one more runs away. So we're going to get rid of one more. So that means I need to cross one more off. All right, how many dogs are there now? So let's look, cross these off. How many are left? Two, 
two dogs are left. Two dogs now. Okay, so we had six, three ran away, then one more ran away. Now we have two left. All right, number nine. Use the picture, write the numbers. Okay, here's our picture. Eight birds. Blank birds fly away. Blank birds now. Oh my, well, they want us to use this picture. Okay, so it says eight birds. Now, wait a minute. I don't see eight birds on there, do you? No. So it's not showing us how many birds fly away, is it? We don't see any birds leaving. Blank birds now. Well, how many birds are there now on that, on that branch? Three. So we know this number has to be three because it's showing us there's three left. Okay, we need to figure out how many birds fly away. So if we had eight birds to start, let's see. There's one bird, two bird, three bird. Let's make another circle. Four birds, one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Do we get to eight yet? Nope. Six, one, two, three, four, five, six. Nope. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Not that eight yet. One more, right? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, now we have eight birds. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So just double check, make sure you have eight. We have eight birds. We need to figure out how many fly away. We know that these three are left. So if these three are the ones that are left. How many are the ones that flew away? Well, look, these guys had to fly away, didn't they? Because they're not on the branch, right? They weren't part of our picture. So let's count them. One, two, three, four, five. Five of the birds fly away. Okay, that was the missing part of our picture. All right, let's look at the last one. I'd like you to solve the last one. 10 fish, six fish swim away, blank fish now. So pause, you do the last one and we'll check our work. All right. Let's see how you did. Here's our 10 fish. These six swim away. So did you cross them off? If you forgot to cross them off, go back. You can cross them off. Okay. How many fish are left? One, two, three, four. You should have four fish now. All right, boys and girls, you're going to work on your personal math trainer.